Hey guys, and welcome to another Swift tutorial. Today, we're going to talk about something really important, version control, specifically version control using Git and Xcode. I'm going to demonstrate how to commit, push, and make branches in Xcode. Let's get into it. So we're going to start off by creating a project, in this case, Swift Git example. Then when you click the next screen, Xcode asks if you want to create a Git repository on your Mac. So this is basically automatically setting up Git on a local repository for this project. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. After we do that, we have our project. Suppose now, you know, what our project we have, we make a whole section of code. In this case, let's pretend I implemented some networking code. So I'm going to go ahead and say networking code here. So now that I implemented some networking code, I want to commit this, right? What is a commit? A commit is basically taking a snapshot of specific files and saving it so that later you can easily go to a that specific snapshot or merge it or modify it or do whatever you want with it. So how do we how do we do that? So we go to source control over here and then we can click commit. We'll then be able to see the files that have a difference in it compared to the previous commit. So when we create that initial local repository, it created an initial commit. So the difference here is the line of code that I wrote. So for whatever you made, you can then write a commit message. I'm going to write implemented networking code. And as you can see on the right side, it's the local master over the local master is committed and this is the uncommitted version. So I'm going to go ahead and commit that. Now that we have that committed, we're going to want to see our commits. And you do that by going to the second tab over here, which is the source control navigator. I'm going to open that up and you can see we have a master branch. Now the master branch is typically the branch where you have all your main files set up. And then if you want to add specific features, you make separate branches and then merge it in here. So you can see the commit I just made initial commit and then implemented networking code. And you can see that's the top commit on the master branch. Now, for example, you have a colleague working on another branch and they wanted to implement something in the same file. What do they do? Well, they'll create a new branch. So let's, let's go ahead and create a new branch. So we can do that by going back to our tab, right clicking and saying branch from master. So we'll create an exact copy of master from the point it is, and we can add on to that. So I'm going to say feature add image detection. Now that I'm in a new branch and I make any new code implement image detection. So I can go ahead and commit this. Implemented image detection. As you see below here, the branch we're currently on is in the feature branch because that we just created and so it automatically set us up on that branch. So I'm going to commit to that file. Unfortunately, we only have a local repository, but in case of emergencies and in general best practices, you're going to want to keep a copy of your Git files on a remote repository. One great example of this is GitHub. So let's go ahead and see how we can make a repository. So I'm going to go into my repositories and I'm going to create a new one. Let's call it Swift git example. I'm going to make it private for the sake of this video. 
Now that we created it, we got a Git URL for accessing this project. Since we already have a project, we just need to add our remote URL. And we do that by going to the remote folder and adding an existing remote. I'll leave the name as origin to make it easy. So now that we have this, we're going to want to push a copy of our local branch to the remote repository. So I'm going to do push. So you see over here, since we're currently on the feature branch, I'm going to be able to push that. If you want to switch back to your master, all you have to do, you see we're right now on the add image detection branch. If we want to go back to the feature branch, we right click and we click checkout. That'll make this branch the current branch. Now that we're in the current branch, we can also push that specific branch. So let's go on GitHub and now check and see if it pushed everything and that we have a backup of our code. So here you see we have the feature branch and then we also have our master branch. You see it's one commit behind. Now, if we want to merge the two, we can right click on this feature branch and click merge feature into master. Now it's super easy to merge and you can see it did not update. So let's go ahead and push it to master again and confirm. It's probably just a UI bug. So now we can see that it's pushed. We can see it's even with the feature branch that we set up. So we're good to go over here. As you can see, Xcode makes it super easy to work with source control in general and make your life more secure and have a backup of all your code. So stay safe and keep on source controlling. All right, see you next time.